Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about finding the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres. What is a volume? Volume is the amount of space in a certain 3D or 3-dimensional object. In your previous grade, you already studied how to find the volume of a rectangular prism and a cube. So now, let's study the volume of a cylinder, pyramid, cone, and sphere. First, we're going to discuss the volume of a cylinder. What do you mean by the volume of a cylinder? The volume of a cylinder is the amount of space inside the cylinder. Finding the volume of a cylinder is similar on how to find the volume of any other prism. Volume of a cylinder The volume of a cylinder is the product of the circular base area which is characterized by capital letter B, and the height, which is represented by small letter H. So we have V or volume is equal to pi times radius square times height. This is the formula how we're going to find the volume of a cylinder. Find the volume of the cylinder below with a radius of 5 cm and a height of 8 cm. To find the volume, we're going to use this formula. Volume is equal to pi times radius square times height. So, the estimated value of pi is 3.14, then the radius square is 5 cm raised to the power of 2. Then we're going to multiply by its height, which is 8 centimeters. So let's multiply. We multiply first the number inside the parentheses with an exponent. So 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters is equal to 25 centimeters squared. Then just bring down 3.14 and 8 centimeters. Then let's multiply 3.14 times 25 centimeters square times 8 centimeters is equal to 200 cubic centimeters. Okay, lastly, 3.14 times 200 cubic centimeters. The volume is equal to 628 cubic centimeters. This is the volume of this cylinder with a radius of 5 centimeters and a height of 8 centimeters. Volume of a pyramid The volume of a pyramid is the amount of space inside the pyramid. Volume is measured in cubic units, which means it tells us how many cubes of a given size it takes to fill the pyramid. Volume of a pyramid The formula for the volume of a pyramid is one-third the base area, which is characterized by capital letter B, times the height, which is represented by small letter H. So we have V or volume is equal to area of the base times height divided by 3. Or we have V is equal to one-third of the length times width times height. The base of a pyramid is any polygon. Polygons have length and width. Find the volume of the pyramid below. 
with a width of 20 meters, a length of 40 meters, and a height of 50 meters. To find the volume, we're going to use this formula. V is equal to area of the base times height divided by 3. So, the bases are 40 meters as the length, 20 meters as the width, and 50 meters as the height. So, we're going to divide these all dimensions by 3. Let's solve. 40 meters times 20 meters is equal to 800 square meters. Then just bring down times 50 meters. Then divide it by 3. 800 meters square times 50 meters. The answer is equal to 40,000 cubic meters. Divided by 3, the volume of this pyramid is equal to 13,333.33 cubic meters. If we're going to round it off to the nearest hundreds, or 13,333 and one third cubic meters. Next, we're going to discuss about the volume of a cone. The formula for the volume of a cone is one-third the base area, which is characterized by capital letter B times the height, which is represented by small letter H. So we have V is equal to one-third the base area times height. Or we have V is equal to pi times radius squared times height divided by 3. Since the base of a cone is a circle, so the area of the base is pi radius squared. Find the volume of the cone below with a radius of 2 centimeters, a height of 6 centimeters. What is the formula how to find the volume of a cone? Yes, you are right. Volume is equal to pi times radius square times height divided by 3. So, what is the estimated value of pi? Very good. The estimated value of pi is 3.14 and radius square is 2 centimeters raised to the power of 2. Then we're going to multiply to its height, which is 6 centimeters. Then divide it by 3. Let's solve. We're going to solve first the number inside the parentheses with an exponent. So, 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters is equal to 4 square centimeters. Then just bring down 3.14 times 6 centimeters. Divide it by 3. Next, we're going to multiply first 4 centimeters square and 6 centimeters. And the answer is equal to 24 cubic centimeters times 3.14. The product is equal to 75.36 cubic centimeters divided by 3. The volume of this cone is equal to 25.12 cubic centimeters. Lastly, we discuss about the volume of a sphere. The volume of the sphere with radius which is characterized by small letter R, is 4 third pi times the cube of the radius. So we have V is equal to 4 third pi times radius cube. Our volume is equal to 4 times pi times radius cube divided by 3. 
Find the volume of the sphere below with a radius of 10 meters. What is the formula how to find the volume of a sphere? Yes, you are right. Volume is equal to 4 times pi times radius cube divided by 3. So let's substitute the value of our radius into our formula. So we have 4 times the estimated value of pi is 3.14 times radius cube which is 10 meters raised to the power of 3 divided by 3. So we're going to solve first the number inside the parentheses with an exponent. This means that 10 meters times 10 meters is equal to 100 square meters times 10 meters is equal to 1,000 cubic meters times 3.14 is equal to 3,140 cubic meters times 4 is equal to 12,560 cubic meters divided by 3 the volume of this sphere is equal to 4,186.67 cubic meters rounded to the nearest hundreds. Or, the volume of this sphere is equal to 4,186 and two-thirds cubic meters. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.